This video is brought to you by Squarespace, the quick and easy way to build a kick-ass website. What's up, guys? So you've probably heard someone say this before, or even said it yourself at some point, that all you really need to build a PC is a screwdriver. And yeah, that's true. A typical PC build only requires some simple screwing and plugging things in with the old melon grabbers but I prefer to call them hands. However, after building dozens of PCs over the years, I've added several items to my arsenal to make the assembly process that much more fluid and enjoyable. No sponsored products in this video, guys. These are all things I've either found or been recommended by others, and I use them personally on a regular basis. On that note, whether you're a veteran system builder or taking the steps to building your first rig, may you find some of today's suggestions helpful as you embark on your quest for a richer desktop experience. Also, if anything piques your interest today, please consider using the affiliate links in the description below as a way to help support the channel. On that note, in no particular order, here is my top list of must-have items when building a PC. Now it seems silly to even include a number two Phillips head screwdriver on this list since it's so obvious to most folks, but I think it deserves a mention as it is the only tool that's required for the task at hand. Also, not all screwdrivers are created equal, and using the one that you've got at the dollar store will give you more problems than it's worth, which is only a dollar but still. Now believe it or not, the screwdriver I've been using for nearly a year now was actually an included accessory for a Thermalrite CPU cooler. And while this is just an OEM item that Thermalrite slapped their name on, it still turns me on for several reasons. For starters, the magnetic tip is strong as hell so you'll never fumble another screw into the dark abyss of your chassis. The six inch shaft <laughs> is the perfect length in my opinion for general PC building, giving you enough reach when installing your motherboard and CPU cooler for instance, and it has a sturdy hexagonal grip for greater torque and comfort. Since I couldn't find this exact unit on Amazon, I've linked a similar Klein screwdriver that's an inch longer and looks to have a slightly nicer grip. And it's a Klein screwdriver, so it's just nicer in every way possible. Additionally, I also use this OEM pocket screwdriver that came included with a HyperX SSD, and I promise there are some things on this list that I did buy intentionally. The unit features interchangeable magnetic bits and as you might have guessed, is great for installing SSDs and other small screws. Now instead of having two separate screwdrivers, some folks might prefer a single multi-bit option, but that leaves you without a short screw screwdriver for hard to reach areas, and I personally find long screwdrivers to be a pain when installing SSDs. Another item that's proven incredibly useful over the years is my ModRite mainboard ModMat, which is one of those things I never knew I needed until I had one. The ModMat provides a 23 by 23 inch anti-static assembly surface for all of your components just one zap away from never working again. Just ask the HDMI port on my GTX 1080 for the win edition. Oh wait, you can't, because it's dead. The mat features a grounding wire clip and an anti-static wristband, but my favorite thing about this product is that it's also an anti-scratch surface, so I never have to worry about a chassis getting scuffed up on my craptastic building table. Even side panel windows are safe as long as the mat is clean, and this goes both ways. If you have a nice table to build on, the mod mat also protects your desktop from getting wrecked by your hardware. Screened directly onto the mat is a motherboard form factor table and rulers, which are great when plopping down your long rod for a good measuring. It works great for hardline tubing as well. To top it all off, it's made of an insanely rugged rubber material that's held up beautifully over the years, with not a single rip, tear, or punctured hole. For those who need it, the mod mat also comes in an oversized version with twice the real estate. Till this day, I haven't found an easier and more effective way to upgrade my workspace. Now, if there is one caveat to the mod mat, though, it's that it's black, which makes it difficult to see most screws you might place on its rubbery surface. And that leads us to the next item on our list, which is the magnetic screw tray. Not only does it help to have a designated area for all your loose screws, but the powerful magnet keeps them in glorious screw captivity until they're reunited with their beloved screw hole. No conjugal visits here. These affordable trays are simple and effective for what they do, and can be easily stored on any magnetic surface when not in use. What they lack, however, is organization, so I recently picked up this Dellcast MT-02 magnetic project mat. Measuring 11.75 inches by 9 inches, the mat is divided up into squares and features a dry erase surface for labeling your screws during the disassembly process. Now, unless you're new to PC building, you can probably figure out which screws go where without the help of this item, but if you're relatively new to custom water cooling like myself, Itself, this mat can be a godsend for organizing and labeling all the little screws for your reference GPU coolers and water blocks. On the downside, the MT-02 is intended for smartphone and laptop disassembly, so the magnetic surface isn't quite strong enough to hold larger thumb screws, for instance, but the thick non-slip foam backing aids in the prevention of lost screws. This along with a standard screw tray make a great combo for keeping all your little things in order. Now every now and then when building a PC, I'll have to reseat my CPU cooler for some unexpected reason, leaving the 
base plate and my CPU a sticky, goopy mess. But until some genius invents edible thermal paste that I can just lick off of my hardware, sounds suggestive, I'll continue using this thermal compound remover kit from Arctic Silver. The Arctic Clean kit uses a two-step process including a remover and purifier solution. Apply a couple drops of the remover to any greasy surface and magically wipe the goop away with ease. Then rub in a drop or two of the purifier to prep the surface for a fresh application of thermal compound. This helps to prevent flash corrosion on copper heat sinks while removing any residue left by the remover. And thanks to its refreshing citrus scent, this Arcticlean kit also gets my award for the best smelling object in a PC geek's room, though nominations were slim. These bottles have kept all of my thermal mating surfaces in pristine condition for years, and they work great on hardware too. Another problem I've had with PC building in the past is unboxing a brand new chassis only to deface it seconds later with my oily fingerprints. For years I'd been using a pair of these fabric gloves which were working out fine until they zapped that HDMI port on my GTX 1080. After receiving several recommendations for nitrile gloves, I finally bought my first box which has already been a worthwhile investment. The gloves are non-conductive so no more fried electronics and they have a nice grip to them so I can handle cases and side panel windows without leaving behind a crime scene of fingerprints. Unfortunately, the gloves are just a preventative measure, and since it's just not practical to wear them throughout the entire build process, this four pack of extra large microfiber cleaning cloths from Magic Fiber is a great solution for wiping off any eyesores on your chassis. If you're still using the tiny cloth that came with your eyeglasses to clean your case window, these 16 by 16 inch squares are calling your name. They're so big I even use them for my 32 inch monitor and my 55 inch TV. Best of all, they're extremely gentle, leaving zero scratches or streaks on even the cheapest case windows I've come across, and trust Trust me, I've seen some pretty bad ones. Winding down our list of helpful building appliances are a few things to aid in the ever so crucial task of cable management. An assortment of zip ties in various sizes and a pack of reusable Velcro straps can go a long way. Most PC cases these days come included with a number of these restraints, but they're usually not the size I need or there's simply not enough of them, so having my own supply ensures that no cable goes untidied. Zip ties are great for binding cables as tightly as possible to maximize space conservation, while Velcro straps allow for flexibility flexibility when adding or removing cables to the bunch. Yes, I just explained to you what zip ties were. As a final pro tip for cable management, I'd also recommend a small pair of wire cutters to snip off any excess zip tie clutter. So there you have it guys, those are pretty much all the tools and trinkets I like to use when building my PCs, but if there's anything you'd like to add to this list, be sure to share it in the comments below. Speaking of things that make your life easier though, Squarespace helps you make quality websites like a freaking boss. I think my grandma knows more about the Facebook than I do about web design, but creating a site with Squarespace is so intuitive that it almost looks like I know what the hell I'm doing. If you guys want to start building your dream site without any of the hassle, head to the affiliate link that you see on the screen here and use the offer code BITWIT for a discount off of your subscription. It is totally worth it. But that is going to do it for now, guys. Before you go, don't forget to toss me a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you all in the next one. Hoo-hoo! <laughs> <laughs>